Hello, I'm Manat Lee, and I'm going to introduce my paper named the Deep Neural Network Calibration for End-to-End -end Speech Recognition System. Uh, uh, the problem we want to solve is the overconfidence problem of Deep Neural Network, and we want to make End-to-End -end 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 ASR system to make uh, uh, to have a better decoding process. Uh, and there are many researchers that report overconfidence problem of deep neural network. And I'm gonna introduce what overconfidence is. Uh, actually, uh, deep end to end ASR models like sequence to sequence or CTCs has uh, mm -hmm. some kinds of calibration error. In this case, we plot the graph of confidence and accuracy of ASR output in here. And we can see that uh, in normal case, where the sequence to sequence decoder, the accuracy is uh, below the confidence. Mm -hmm. And we call this problem as overconfidence problem. Problem uh, that happens because uh, the neural network models are trained to using cross entropy laws, and it it tend to make the uh, output uh, sharp sharpener uh, than the actual accuracy. Uh, the end-to-end -end ASR system combines the output probability distribution of independently trained multiple DNS like LM and sequence-to-sequence -sequence decoder plus CTC or X extra. And two, they make a joint probability distribution with independently trained DNS. So as at this time, components of the end-to-end -end speech recognition system that produce overconfidence output can spoil the joint probability distribution. Uh, for example, uh, uh, there are two, two types of deep, deep neural network. And if the first one makes some overconfident output probability, so it makes almost like one half out probability for classes. And if it makes like that sharpened output, then uh, no matter what the its accuracy or other things, uh, the joint probability distribution of the, these two deep neural networks are followed the first one even though the, the accuracy of the first DNN is not very good. So that can be a problem. So in this paper, we want to calibrate the uh, sequence to sequence decoder and RM and CTC. In this uh, figure, we can see that uh, the language model is uh, is quite well calibrated, even though we didn't use any calibration function. But in this case of uh, sequence to sequence decoder, we make uh, we apply the same calibration function and make the output probability to be calibrated like the figure in the right. Then we can we could get a better WR in this case. And there are some existing methods that make uh, uh, that make better decoding. In this case, we uh, in this case we compare proposed method with uh, Wason method. In order to pro combine the, the output probability distribution of independently trained and end speech recognition. Uh, the existing method is using the empirical the acquired tuning factor. This one is a Wason method in this case. 
and this alpha should be uh, determined with empirical experiments. Uh, we usually find alpha with grid search and it takes a lot of time and a lot of computations too and it is not guaranteed that the obtained value is the optimal value. So this is the usual decoding uh, process, but it is not efficient. So we propose a calibration method. Calibration is uh, something that uh, make the, the accuracy and the confidence uh, same. Uh, in this case, we use it three types of calibration method and it is uh, use it in this paper, first paper. And we experimentally show that the components of the, the independently trained end-to-end -end ASR system produce a better joint probability distribution when they have low calibration error. To this end, we train a calibration function that calibrate the posterior probability distribution of the DNN. The proposed calibration function has the form of simple linear transform. Uh, in this case, this t value is just a scalar value, and uh, uh, v is a uh, uh, diagonal diagonal matrix, and m is uh, just a matrix. And this kind of linear transform calibrate the alpha probability of the system. And as we, uh, as we need to uh, optimize the calibration error, we first define the calibration error. Uh, in this case, we, the calibration error we define is the difference between accuracy and confidence. This is uh, calculated bin-wise, means we divide the, the entire batch in some bins and we arrange that with a confidence value. And for every bin, we uh, calculate the accuracy and we calculate the output probability actually the average alpha probability and the average accuracy in this case of the bin. And uh, we, uh, we get the distance uh, bit, between them and it is a calibration error. Uh, and we minimize this calibration error with uh, this uh, calibration function. Uh, with this calibration function, we train the network, means this PW or P uh, X given W independently, and with this parameter, and it means temperature. And we train this temperature value with validation set to make the uh, to get a, a lower loss for the validation set. And when we train the, this calibration function, the uh, classifier is actually detached from the model. So we make no gradient uh, calculation in this way. The calibration function is trained separately using the validation set while you're fixing the parameters of the deep learning based classification network. Yeah. And for experiment, we identify the correlation between expected calibration error and water rate. Expected calibration error and water rate of the components of the end-to-end the -end ASR system and ECE in this case are, we predefined that accuracy minus 
uh, confidence and its absolute value. And the water error rate means uh, we calculated with Rubinstein algorithm. And uh, ECE is measure that quantifies how where the posterior probability value of the DNN-based classification model reflects the actual classification accuracy. And we divide the entire batch into B bins and measure the accuracy and confidence for each bin and quantify the difference as the calibration error. At this time, the entire batch is sorted in order of confidence to minimize the variance of the confidence within the bin. Yeah, this is ECE, and we we uh, we minimize this ECE by uh, train the calibration function with validation set, and we experimentally confirm that. The components of end-to-end -end speech recognition system trained in this direction of minimizing ECE generate a joint, uh, joint probability distribution that better approximates the actual probability distribution and thus show a low WR. Uh, we calculate WR and ECE for every scaling factor and we find that when ECE is lower, the, we can get the better WR. And so we need to calibrate every component of the end the end to end systems like RM and decoder and CTC. Yes, we can get some benefits that we don't need to uh, empirically find the alpha value when we use weight sum method. And it is uh It is uh, not very difficult to train and don't need so many extra computation. And this linear scaling function is has so few parameters that uh, we don't need a lot of validation set. And we compared our proposed method with label smoothing method in the experiment. Uh, and we find that uh, proposed method is better than label smoothing method. That's because uh, label smoothing method actually get a uh, better ECE for the one most probable class. It means it doesn't get a uh, good ECE for the second best or third best classes. Uh, it means that he cannot generate a nice probability distribution. It makes a constraint to the output probability distribution. So there are so many classes that have such a little uh, probability. So uh, we find that our proposed method get better uh, ECE than label smoothing method. Uh, it's the end of our presentation and thank you for listening.